Jim, uh, how good can the defense be? Do you guys need to be? Uh, can, is, can you be good enough to carry this team? Um, you know, I think our defense is going to be very good, uh, but it's a team that needs to get it done. Um, I'm not saying one side of the ball is going to get it done. Um, it's a group effort. Uh, guys got to grow. Um, but having the more experienced guys on defense, we do need to lead in, in some approach. I know Tim, what your goals always are each year. State and TJ talked about this. Is it time to win a playoff game? That's, that's low hanging fruit for us. You know, I think um, there's more to accomplish than just winning one playoff game. Cam, where do you want to see improvement? Um, you know, getting off the field a lot more. Um, that's better for my health. Um, you know, I think um, we didn't lead the league in sacks, uh, turnovers, um, you know, red zone efficiency for a defense is huge. Uh, three instead of seven. Um, and, you know, the emergence of uh, players making big plays and, you know, those key moments. You know, for you and uh, anybody who's on the right side, particularly of the defensive front, Mm -hmm. Looking forward to challenging both the left tackles and kind of uh, juicing along this competition that they've got over there. Yeah, you know, I think we're, we're trying to create as much competition as we can. Um, and we're trying to make sure that um, our guys are prepared. Uh, obviously, Dan has more experience. Um, you bring in a guy like Isaac, Ciamalo. Um, and then you, we have depth, you know, at the, tackle, at the guard and tackle position. So, uh, Roger's got to come along, but um, he's going to have you know, his fair share of work. Um, you know, whether it's Alex Highsmith, uh, me, um, Isaiah Loudermilk, um, and then Marcus Golden, you know, I think he's gonna get plenty of work in the ones and twos. Had Meyer talked in glowing terms about how Dan has improved during his time here. Yeah. Where specifically have you seen his improvement? You know, I think his body looks completely different. Um, you know, I think he's really taking good care of it, um, looks stronger, uh, more fit. Uh, and he should just have a better sense. Um, that's not going to come with any lumps, but um, you know, I think he's got to show that you know he's going into his third year, um, and that he's got those reps under his belt. Um, and we'll see who, who wins that battle. Cam, yeah, your you focus last year was on being better against the run. Mm -hmm. What's the focus this year defensively? Being better against the run in the pass. <laughs> um, you know, I think. Um, we stopped the run a lot better this past year, but uh, wasn't number one. Um, the goal is to be the number one defense. Cam, you talked about the guys behind you. You played fewer snaps last year than you had the, a couple of years before that. Obviously, the production is still really high. You feel like that's kind of the plan going forward? And was there like a, a model or a number or maybe someone older that you looked at to say, like, this is a path for me like in the future in my career? Um, you know, I don't think there's a model of a player um, that I really try to look at. Um, but it's about keeping me fresh in the fourth quarter and then um, throughout the season. Um, and, you know, one, it comes down to getting off the field early. Um, another thing, uh, I can't play every rep. I'm not going to try to, but um, I want to make sure I make the most out of every rep I'm in. And, um, you know, I, I got to have guys that are stepping up. Cam, your leadership and guidance is obviously going to be, you know, valuable. And players are going to look up to you for advice. Have you talked to any of these newer guys about what to expect? No. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I try to lend as much uh, information as I can, um, try to be honest. Um, you know, comes back to the classroom and uh, going over plays. Uh, one thing I always try to do is just ask questions, um, not just for myself, but for the entire group. Um, you know, Coach Dunbar gets annoyed with me half of the time, but uh, that's just the way I, I try to teach the group. Um, I always think, you know, the dumb question is the unasked question. So um, making sure that I'm available in that approach is always my big thing. You mentioned him, Dan, before. Um, he also talked about how Zach Banner was good for him, especially in the sense that, you know, they're kind of battling for playing time, but they mm -hmm. still brought him along. Like, you kind of went through that a little bit too with Brett, right? Um, I don't know. He's yeah. I feel like Brett was just teaching me. I don't think it was like a competition thing. I think because you know at first I was on the left, I was on the left side. On the other side yeah. So you know, and then me and Brett ended up starting. But um, you know, I think for there's always that two dogs, one one bone approach, um, competing against each other, making sure that um, you know you're available. Um, you know, and football sorts itself out. Um, I think a lot of times we say this is the day one starter. It doesn't always end up being. The, the start at the end of the season. So 
Um, injuries happen. Um, but I think both guys are capable of starting. But for him to have that sense that, you know, even though this guy's going for my job, I'm going to I'm gonna be the first one to tell him what to look for in the playbook, to show yeah. him what his lunchroom is, that sort of thing. Oh, I think I think that's more of the Steeler culture, um, not hiding secrets. Um, it's here to build the best team, not just the best player. Um, you know, I can go down the list of, you know, great players sharing, you know, their knowledge to the team. Um, you look the Heinz Wards having A.B. and Emmanuel, um, you know, where were they, the Bugatti boys at the time? And, um, you know, the running backs by committee, you know. Uh, um, there's been so many different positions that uh, you can look at the line, O line, um, inside linebackers, always just working together to make sure uh, everybody's informed. You talked about more. reps earlier, uh, maybe not. Are you referencing that maybe your snap count will be less this year? I'm not referencing anything. Okay. Um, you know, I, I just want, didn't know if you were saying. I'm you just know. saying that uh, I can't play every rep. Okay. Um, I think you know it, it comes down to uh, having solid guys behind, which I think we do. Um, louder milk, um, Armand Watts. Um, you know, there's a boatload of guys that I think can play. Um, you know, we got Benton, we got Demarvin, Leal. Um, you know, I just think. Um, it's not going to come down to just me. It never will. Um, but uh, it's about just making sure we have fresh guys on the field. First day of training camp, you know, tell us what it was like so far for you and what kind of advice have you been I mean, it's good, you know. We kind of did this in the mini camp and everything like that. So kind of taking it easy. Everything's going well right now. Now we're about to get ready for practice. Obviously, you're used to this, but what's it going to feel like for you to finally be on that field and seeing all the things watching you kind of roll over? Yeah, it's kind of crazy because I remember being here when I was a young kid, uh, being a ball boy, so now it's full circle. My dad's going to watch me practice now, so, I mean, it's a great experience. It's a great feeling. I'm just excited for it. I mean, it means a lot. I mean, I remember being in Rooney Hall with Dino Tomlin and uh, Mason and all of them, being in a bunk bed stacked up, and now I'm, I'm actually in my own room this time. I got my own bathroom, so it's a great experience. I'm happy, man. When was the last time you would have been there? Uh, I'll say like my junior year of high school, junior or sophomore year of high school, yeah. Really just, he always just tell me to be me at the end of the day. They got me for being me. They know who I am. They know how I play. So I don't have to really change nothing about how I play or my style. So that's what I'm walking in with, with just a lot of confidence, like I usually do. Knowing you comfortable that, out there? Of course, yeah, always. Knowing that you were a ball boy, do you make a, a point to go over and introduce yourself or talk to the guys here, knowing that you were in there soon? Of course, always, you know, I kind of always chat with the ball boys. I mean, I got a special heart for them. They know, I know what they're going through. It's a, it's a lot. They got a, they got a lot of respect for me just off the stuff they do. So yeah, definitely. You give them tips on how to do their jobs, knowing that, you know, you've been there before? Yeah, see, I wasn't a great ball boy. I was, I was kind of average, so they're probably better than me already. Not gonna what lie. makes a great ball boy? Uh, just always hustling, always being attentive, and uh, really just earning their respect around the guys. That's the main thing. Joey, you said you got the uh, deal done on your birthday. Were you getting antsy? Were you getting nervous? And what were the, the holdups there? Uh, I really wasn't getting antsy or nervous. Uh, me, me and the whole staff got a good understanding of what was going on. Uh, with the numbers and stuff, I really can't really talk about that too much because that's just, I leave that with my agents. Joey, the last building or St. Vincent? You said what? The last building or St. Vincent? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. But I got to go, I got to go St. Vincent. Got to. What's it like? You know, do you keep in contact with the Penn State guys? Have you talked much coming into this week, or has it been more focused on what you got to do here? Oh, yeah, I always talk to my Penn, State, uh, my Penn State guys. I got a lot of love for them. They got a lot of love for me. They encouraged me to keep going. I know they start camp in a couple of days, so I just tell them the same thing. It's time to work for, on both sides. Any last pieces of advice from Coach Franklin or Diaz? Uh, just get those boys ready. They know they got a long season ahead of them, and I know they're ready. Joey, I know that sometimes Mike Tomlin likes to put young guys next to veterans or something like that. Have you positioned anywhere in the form? Uh, I mean, I know in the locker room I got, I'm with some tough guys, you know, I'm with Minka, GP, uh, TJ and all those guys, so I feel like that was just uh, for a good reason, just to learn off them, bounce off ideas, you know, after a long day of practice or a bad day of practice, they're probably there to pick me up, and uh, I'm looking forward to those type of conversations. Joey, Rob Woodson was uh, talking earlier today about the importance of using your size. It's one thing to come into the league big enough to play corner, it's another to use it. Um, what have you been taught so far in your development in that regard? And how much do you still need to work on that? Uh, your training 
Uh, you know, I always try to use my size and length to my ability. That's what God gave me, so I'm going to use it every day. And uh, uh, my coach always used to tell me why I have this length and size and not use it. So I try to use it to my best of my ability. You said earlier that you celebrated once you got the big contract with your family. How did you guys celebrate? Uh, we went to Top Golf, you know. Uh, that's how we celebrated. I won, obviously. <laughs> I'm elite at Top Golf, so that was fun, of course. Being in camp, mini camp, uh, rookie camp, leading up to here, uh, how anxious are you just to see an opposing receiver and an opposing defense? Have you already got your full scene pick ins and got the Johnson accepted? Yeah, I got, to, I got to see them a little bit during mini camp and everything like that. So now it's getting real. The pads are going to come on. So this is, this is what I wanted. This is what I already dreamed of. So I'm ready. I'm excited.